Hey TLT Cheers, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for hitting this thumbnail to watch this video. If you are new to the channel, please hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification button. That way you get notified of every new video that I make. Also, if you're a current member, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well, because that will help me out. And as always, I ask you to consider joining the channel. That helps out a lot. And as if I haven't asked you guys for enough, I'm asking you for a little more. I'm shameless. What could I say? I'm going to ask you guys to please join my Discord server if you have not yet already. It's a pretty cool place. There's a lot of different channels in there that you guys can do this. Also, there's a lot of distro maintainers in there as well. So if you have uh, one of their distros, you can certainly ask them. Either way, come join. It's lots of fun. Now, for the sad part of today's video. Yes, it's going to be kind of a sad one. For me, that is, because everybody knows how much I love Brave Browser. Yes, today I was reading some news at one of my very, one of my favorite places to go to. Uh, it's Foss News, uh, and well, I read a, a headline over there, and it prompted me to click on it and read it, and I was completely taken blindsided as to what was going on with my beloved Brave browser. I have hollered to the highest of mountains as to how good Brave Browser is. And it truly is. Right now, the way it functions, the way it is, and the way it keeps you private and secure, it blocks ads, it has, you know, privacy-centric browser that, that has so many features built into it right out of the box. No extensions you have to add, none of that good stuff. You can just use it pretty safely, you know, more than many other browsers, just right out of the box. Uh, is bar none there. And then I read this. Yeah, Brave Browser is adding AI into its browser. But that's not the part that bothers me so much because, as you know, I've made videos before on AI, kind of defending that it's coming along. We're going to have to accept it. It's something I feel 100% comfortable with. I went on record and stated no. I've actually gotten in arguments and heated calling out sessions with other YouTubers uh, through some dark days and some dark times. And the <laughs> reality of it is, is AI still, no matter what the other guy was saying and no matter what I was saying, which is what I was saying is what it was going to do, and it did, it has become prevalent and it's going to become prevalent and you cannot stop it. You cannot boycott it. You can't do anything. So this doesn't necessarily surprise me. It's just that I would figure that Brave wouldn't have done this part, they're building it on the Llama 2, which is an open large language model right here. And it's made by Microsoft and made up. And, and so to me, that's pause because why not do what Raymer did over in Makulu Linux? He knew that AI was coming and I've had many discussions with him. He knew that AI was coming and that he was embracing it and trying to put it into his desktop in as many forms possible as he could that were functional for the desktop and made the desktop a great desktop environment. And he did. He created his own server for it. He downloaded open source language models that are out there that are available that everybody can see for it. And he deployed it on his standard with his web browser the way it should be. And at that point in time, it became a very secure, private, uh, AI that was embedded into his thing, into his desktop environment. Now, why couldn't Brave do the same thing? Uh, instead, they're trusting it to Microsoft and Meta. <laughs> I'm not bashing Microsoft. I'm not trying to go down that road at all. But nonetheless, he's doing that with Microsoft and Meta. So I don't know what to say about it, you know, other than that's certainly the last people that I would be trusting with privacy. And then furthermore, they go to say that we specifically tune the model prompt to adhere to Brave's core values. 
their brand core values are about privacy and security for the user. By doing this, I'm not sure they've really tuned anything in the end because the back end is being left wide open. Now, they also, they want to <laughs> emphasize, however, as with any other LLM, the outputs of the models should be treated with careful with care for potential inaccuracies and errors. Yes, OpenAI has put tons of hours into their model, their language models, and their learning, and it's still full of inaccuracies. So God only knows what Meta and Microsoft are, you know, done with theirs. So that's not anything new that, that we should be uh, kind of guessing about, you know what I'm saying? And for the record, I will note that Leo, which is the new name of their AI assistant, Leo, is going to be is only embedded currently into their nightly builds. So if you've got this right here in your nightly builds, then uh, this little thing right here in the nightly builds, then that is your Leo. You could take it for a test drive. I do not have the nightly build uh, that that has Leo in it. I'm the one before it. I've not updated to it. I don't want to update to it. In fact, I've gone to this extreme, which I know some people that know me quite well are going to be shocked. But that's right. I've installed Vivaldi on my PC. <laughs> I'm now test driving Vivaldi. Um, before Brave, I used uh, Firefox. And uh, also, I think it was Chrome, Google Chrome in the beginning. And so uh, I, I, I went to Firefox full on. And then uh, I just figured, what the heck, why not try Vivaldi? I've heard so much from my friend Steve about Vivaldi. So I'm giving it a test drive and seeing what it is. But I've also downloaded Firefox on my computer as well. And I've had it on for about a month now. So, and as you can see right here, Vivaldi blocks and trackers and ads right out of the box so i'm i'm very 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 comfortable with that and like that so yeah that's what i'm doing i am actually getting ready to maybe dump brave if they continue doing this thing with their ai thing and i'm not trying to be one of those conspiracy guys all against ai i've gone on record say that you know i kind of embrace it it's cool it's got its potential it's got its great things if it's handled appropriately uh, but i just don't want it in my browser i just don't especially when it's supposed to be privacy centric and so I ask you guys, tell me, what do you guys think about it? I know some of you are going to, just because it's AI, are going to be like, ah, poo-poo on AI or whatever. And some of you guys might be a little bit more optimistic than I. Myself, I don't feel that it's ready for it yet. I don't think that it's grown enough. I don't think it's trusted enough. I don't think it's private enough that, that we should be doing this. Um, so that's why I'm making this video. I felt compelled to make this video. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. And I hope I'm not right, but either way, I, I I don't know what to say other than y'all keep doing what you do. Keep on Linuxing. Stay blessed. And above all, have a great day. And I will see you in the very next video.